Okay, so part four. This is now the time when we're gonna put everything into FSX. So, we want to minimize everything, go to our FSX root folder, and then go to sim objects, aeroplanes, and then choose the PMDG model that you're working with. Now, I'm using the 737 winglet version, so 737 winglet. You want to look for the texture.pmdg. We'll copy this one, so right click, copy, right click, paste. And it's per texture.pmdg dash copy. We need to rename this, and we're going to rename it to MON, which is Monarch. You want to also rename that little T to a big T so it matches everything else. Okay, so we'll open that up, and we've got exactly the same in here as what we have in here. So, this is where you would choose, if you're using Paint Shop, or Photoshop, sorry, you would use the freeware plugin, which is in the link below. Uh, in the description or you could use uh, DXT BMP they're both the same they both do exactly the same thing only one is for Photoshop and the other ones for any other program other than Photoshop so we'll open up the fuselage uh, 1.dds into our editor and by this time now uh, the fuselage master is done with so I can save this and close it so this is the DDS as you can see there DDS if you're using um, the DXT BMP it should say norm dot uh, BMP so we've opened up fuselage 1 so we want to do the same on here fuselage 1 and we're just going to select all copy close it and paste it we're going to control E to flatten it and control S to save now in the save options you want to make sure it saves flipped vertically and there it's a DXT5 so we'll save okay so now that one's saved we'll move on to the uh, next one which would be the fuselage 2 so we'll close that open up fuselage 2 do the same for the DDS and the PSD file select all copy and this is all we're basically doing copying and pasting and that's that one so we'll flatten that one and save always make sure that it's DXT5 ARGB and that the image is flipped vertically and we'll save that okay so that one's saved so we can close both of those and the next one which is fuselage 3 so select all copy you can already close it and paste it in and Control E, Control S to save, save it. Okay, so that one's saved. The next one is the Fuselage Knight, which I've already done, I believe. So let's just double check. No, I haven't. So we'll do those now. So we'll start with the Fuselage 1 Knight. Go into the PSD files and open that one. Again, select all, control A, then control C to copy, and control V to paste. And we'll flatten the layer, control E, and then control S to save. These do take a while to save. Um, I am pausing the video in between, uh, but that one I didn't. Uh, these are smaller files because the nighttime textures don't take up much. So we'll open both of those. So again, Control A, Control C, close it, and then Control V, Control E, Control S. A lot of control work. 
Uh, so we'll click save. That's that one saved. So we've now done all of those. I uh, believe we've done the tail. Nope. So we need to do that one also. So again, we'll go into the tail section. PDS file. Select all. Control A. Copy. Control C. You can close that. Paste it. Control V. Now, with this one, you can see behind. So we're going to select the background texture and we're going to select the rubber and we're just going to remove the area behind press ctrl E to flatten the layers and then ctrl S to save it and that one's finished so we'll move on to the next one so all we're doing is transferring them from these PSD files which are Photoshop generated and we're transferring them to the DDS easy again this one there's no difference at all so don't need to do that one so the next one is the VC number so we'll open this one and then the VC number here so control A, control C, control V Control E, Control S, save, and that one saves lightning fast because it's small, tiny. Okay, so we're going to check now which ones we've done and which ones we haven't. So fuselage one is complete. I'll open both the night textures to make sure that one's done and that one's also done. We'll open up these two together. Always double check, make sure that the that you've completed everything before you move on to the next one. So the winglets and the engines and the tail, all done. Okay, the wings and the wing knight. Uh, I'm not actually fond of changing these. I think they look fine as they are. Uh, these, this is what you will see when you turn on the wing lights uh, on the overhead and uh, this is obviously what you see in the daytime there is a different version to this um, in the paint kit I've actually deleted it from here because I don't want to edit it but it is included in the paint kit if needed uh, it just gives you a little bit more detail on the wings but those are fine for me okay so we've done everything in there uh, we now need to do the thumbnail but we haven't loaded the aircraft up so we don't know what it's going to look like so we'll leave this till after but for now just so we know which one it is I'm going to select the uh, JPEG file and all I'm going to do is select the paintbrush and any colour any colour will do and all I'm going to do is just make it noticeable so we'll save that we've done with uh, Photoshop or our paint program for now so we can close that we'll leave this window open but we've done with our tex texture files the texture CFG file we'll leave in there because that includes information where to find you know the scenery and other various textures that it needs so we'll just go back to the uh, main aircraft folder for the uh, 737-700 now I'm going to try and get this in within 15 minutes it's going up to 9 minutes now so we want to open up the aircraft CFG file. You can open this with Notepad, uh, Notepad Plus, uh, any text editor, but I find that Notepad is the best. Okay, you can see here it's Flight Sim 0, Flight Sim 1, Flight Sim 2. You need to follow these. So Flight Sim 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is the last one for me. Depending on how many textures you have, you might be up into the 30s or 40s. Uh, I've known some people have, you know, a fair few hundred. Uh, so all we want to do is select the last one. This last one, we'll control C and then control V underneath. So you're leaving a gap 
so you can follow it and you need to rename this one to number from number 9 to number 10 it needs to follow in sequence and we need to change the title so we want to change this we'll just put 700 and we'll change that to monarch the sim is the 737-700 winglet model, panel and sound we don't really need to know now the texture we need to rename this to whatever the folder name is we've renamed it as MON so we need to put in here MON because it will be texture dot MON you don't need to put the texture dot it already knows what to look for so the ATC airline we need to change to Monarch and the ATC ID would be what we used on the um, tail number which if I just load up a photo which I believe it was which one was it this one G dash M O N F so we can rename this to G dash M O N F and the next one would be UI created by PMDG we'll leave it as that and it's obviously Boeing that's the aircraft now the UI variation we need to change this to Monarch and the airline name obviously needs to be Monarch like so and the description we can leave as it is so once we've done that we can save this so I've just pressed Control S to save you can go to file save sometimes depending on where you've saved it it might not save so you might have to copy this to the desktop and then save it and then copy it back but if you have trouble leave a comment and I'll come back to it okay so that's done that's all saved also the aircraft file saved so that's good so I'm going to stop this one now because it's up to 12 minutes and the last video will show the aircraft in FSX so that's it for this video see you next time